let's implement update student feature step by step so first what we're going to do is we're going to add here one update button inside actions column once we click on update button it should navigate to update student page and over there we populate this data and uh, then user can able to update this you know update the student it's pretty simple so let's first add a update button inside actions column so let's head over to sts id and let's start coding so go to students.html page and go to table within a table we have table header and we have added actions columns over there and inside table body we are going to add a button so td just type here td and here we're going to provide anchor tag th colon href so this is the time leap attribute to provide a link and the syntax for adding the link at within a curly braces slash students slash edit and then student id and look at here this id we need to get from student model right so student model has id so we need to get id from student object for that here is a syntax id equals to dollar and then curly braces and then student dot id so this is a standard you know standard syntax to get the id just remember this one and let's go and let's add the bootstrap css class that is button and then button primary okay so save the uh, save the file and let's head, head over to the browser and refresh and uh, let me add a button name here that is update and save the file and let's go back to the browser again and refresh and there we go we have successfully added update button now once we click on update button we should open uh, update page right update student page for that we're going to add handler method to handle this request so let's head over to student controller class and here we're going to add a handler method to handle update request so let's write a method here public string and then the method name is edit student form okay and here we're going to use add get mapping annotation and here we need to provide the url so let's go back to students.html file and this is the url we have provided right just copy this url and let's go back to again student controller and just paste it here and after that we're gonna use add path variable annotation to get the id okay we need to bind this id to some java variable right in order to do that we're gonna use add path variable annotation here and this is a long type and this is id and again second parameter is model we need to return a mod uh, we need to return some data to the view right for that we're going to use a model here perfect okay now we need to get a student by id from the database for that we have to you know add a method to the student service so let's head over to student service student service interface first and in a student service we're going to add a method called update student student update student and then just pass the argument as student and apart from that we're going to also need to create a one more method which will get a student by id student get student by id and then just pass the id as a method argument and then once we add these two methods to student service let's go back to student service impl class and implement these two methods okay and uh, let's first implement get student by id so it's pretty simple we just need to call student repository it has find by id method and just pass the id here and look at here find by id method returns optional 
so we need to call its get method here okay so this completes get student by id implementation and next let's let's save i mean let's update the student and in order to do that we're going to call student repository object and it has a save method and just pass student object to it all right we have successfully implemented get student by id and update student method in service uh, layer now let's head over to student controller okay and just add a data to the model model dot add attribute and this is the student now we need to get a student from the database by id right so for that let's call student service and then call get student by id and pass the id here that's it and here we need to return the view right that is edit underscore student we haven't you know created edit underscore student uh, view yet that we are going to create right away okay let's copy this edit underscore student string and let's go to the templates folder right click on templates folder new and then choose html here html file and just give html file name as edit underscore student dot html hit enter and this edit underscore student uh, dot html page it should look similar to create underscore student page so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just copy all the content from create underscore student dot html file and i will paste in edit underscore student dot html file and let me quickly do some changes so everything remains same just here update update student and then uh, here we need to provide the action link here so action link is student slash and then id so look at here how we get the id so we have added a student object to the model in student controller right here so we can get the id from student object itself all right so in order to get the id what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply use a dollar and within a curly braces we can access the object that is student object and then id and just close the curly braces here so this is the syntax to get the id from the student object okay so there is no change all right the update page almost you know looks similar to create student page so we have done only two changes that is we have changed the string from new student to update student and then we have changed the action the form action that's it okay it looks almost similar to create student page now i'm going to create a handler method to handle this request okay let's go to student controller and here let's write a handler method to handle the update uh, student form uh, request okay just create a method public and then string and method name is update student and here we're gonna pass the id that is long id okay and let's annotate this method with add post mapping annotation okay and just provide the url that is slash students slash and then id okay and this is the uri template variable and we need to get this value of this id and uh, in order to do that we're going to use add path variable annotation here okay so after that here we're going to uh, you know we want to store the student form data into some uh, some java object right in order to do that we're going to use add model attribute annotation here and we just pass the object name that is student and we need to bind this data to the student object here okay and after that uh, uh, we need a model okay perfect now once we get a student here what we're gonna do is we're gonna update this student uh, we're gonna first
okay now what we'll do we'll get a student from the database and we'll update that student with this student uh, you know object and then we'll save into database so first get student from database by id okay student and then call it as uh, the existing student okay and when i use student service here and it has get student by id method and pass the id here so once we get the existing student from the database then we're going to simply update its first name and similarly let's update its last name the existing student dot set last name and here student dot get last name and existing student dot set email and student dot get email okay after that we need to you know save updated student object okay in order to do that we're gonna again call student service and it has update student method and just pass the existing student object to it and once we update the student then we need to redirect to the redirect to redirect to students page right perfect all right so let me check if there is anything missing uh, here we need to also add id to the existing student existing student dot set id and just pass the id here yeah that's it so save all the files and make sure that your spring boot application is up and running let's head over to the browser and refresh and now we are going to test the update student functionality so let's go and let's first update the student called ramesh here and click on update and there we go so update student page successfully opened up and now the data is also populated so let's go and let's update the student first name from Ramesh to you know Ramesh to John and last name to Sina and student email ID something like Sina at the rate gmail.com and there we go so first student is successfully updated now let's see one more uh, uh, one more student so we're going to update second student that is sanjay so let's say from first name to first let's change the first name from sanjay to uh, sam okay and let's change the email and hit submit and there we go all right we have successfully you know implemented update student feature